hi guys so in this video we are going to know about one xx uh, uh, status code okay generally if any status code after hitting any api and if you are getting response uh, 100 100 not 100 not 2 so all are indicating like some information it is giving you okay so for example let's see what is 100 continue okay so suppose there is one scenario okay in that scenario you need to upload a file okay very big file file in server okay so developers has created one api for that okay so what happens using that api you gave the path of the look uh, path of the file okay where you have kept that file to upload that okay so suppose the file size is very big okay uh, suppose file size is like uh, 2 GB of data. Okay, you are trying to upload any movie. Okay, so what happens now if when you'll click on send button, okay, after providing the path and whatever the API developers has given along with the path of the file you need to provide. So that and after clicking on send button, what will happen? It will start uploading the uh, uploading the file. Okay, so generally what happens now in any API? until and unless everything means related to that particular api request body everything until and unless whole information goes to the server server then only they, that server will give you some response whether it is like uh, 200 okay or 201 or some other status code okay so suppose client has done some mistake okay so what happens like and some mistakes and he did uh, like he clicked on send button after providing the path and all those things now the api started uploading the file okay and api started uploading the file and for to uploading 2 gb it took around two hours okay and at last when everything was received by the server service server is telling like uh, uh, you are not authorized to do that okay then it is like a very unnecessary time got wasted data got wasted okay to overcome those things okay there is a way way to tell like client like everything is okay to give some information to the client client means from our system we are trying to upload something to the server so that client is our system okay so while sending that while hitting that api to upload a file okay what developers can do they can tell about this expected header okay it means that i want i want miss client miss api whatever api we are going to hit in that api we will be defining like whatever request i am sending okay for this upload file just you tell me if everything is okay except the uh, the except the uh, file size uploading file size okay so 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 that i should continue to upload the file or else what will happen unnecessary uh, time will get consumed data will get consumed and you will end up with nothing okay so developers will set some expected header okay in that expected header what developer is expecting key many things like uh, authentication uh means you first validate this authentication user is authenticated or not user is authorized or not not the resource existence means the place where i am uploading the file okay that location exists or not if that location does not exist then you should give for not uh, for not for error if authorized user is not authorized to upload file then you give 403 forbidden if authentication error means user is not authorized so you can tell like uh, uh, 401 unauthorized okay if the file size is big then you can tell like your uh, 413 request entry too large and if content type content type is something like server cannot accept that and you are sending such file okay so in that case for no, 415 unsupported media type okay so these everything i'll be telling you so these are some possibilities of failure okay so in expected header what developer is telling server like like these are few things which may cause some error okay so instead of telling at the end after uploading 2gb file you should notify me in starting itself 
okay if you will send me status 100 continue then i'll continue uploading the file otherwise i will stop then and there itself okay so in this way what happened it saved our time right unnecessary it will not upload the file also and in starting itself uh, we will be notified we will be we will get notified like uh, our uh, request is proper or not so after providing all information when user clicks on send button then this validation will happen everything when everything was validated from the server it will not take more than like one second okay less than a second so developer uh, server will send 100 continue once client will receive this 100 continue then it will start uploading the file okay in this way way the uh miss unnecessary those much time wasters will not be there okay and in starting itself we can assure like like whatever api and data we are sending that is correct okay so this is what this is what information okay the server is giving some information okay one xx status code talk about information okay likewise we have one not one okay okay switching protocols one not two processing okay so these are not that important but 100 continue you should know so this is what the example of uh, 100 uh, 1xx uh, api response for information okay it talks about information okay and these status code don't worry i'll explain you but it, it is like uh, very frequently asked these status codes for not one unauthorized for not three forbidden for not for not found for one three request entity too large for one five media unsupported media type etc okay so everything i'll be explaining so that's it for this video guys and if you have not uh, miss if you didn't get anything uh, just uh, put comment i'll try to answer in some better way i'll try to explain in some other way okay so thank you guys thanks a lot